Hi, this is Dr. Dara Vikram, working as professor in CSC regular, KL University. Today our topic, concept learning search under CO2. The course is data driven artificial intelligence systems. Actually, this is a interesting topic where the students can choose the specific hypothesis among the general hypothesis. So, having a real time examples which will help you to learn more and which help you to think about the real time systems how artificial intelligence is working. Then my first uh, uh, topic in this lecture concept learning. Actually concept learning is acquiring the definition of a general category of given sample of positive and negative training examples in the category. Actually there will be some positive and negative examples. So, because if I conduct a test the results may be positive and the result may be negative. Whereas, what will be the next step to be taken after getting the positive results and what is the next step is to be taken after getting the negative results. This means to take a specific decision suppose for example, if we are want to play a game. So, there are lot of constraints like in the weather condition. So, based on the conditions of the weather, so we can take the decision to play or not like that. This concept learning gives a specific knowledge. So, here if you see a, in a specific hypothesis like you can see uh, this is the x gives instances h h gives uh, the hypothesis. So, for example, the text is having the symbol of multiplication and uh, see if you calculate 3 into th uh, 2 into 2 something you will get 96. So, the specific x resembles the multiplication symbol that gives the value like that. Here h is there. So, there is an instance and there is a hypothesis. So, initially we have given x and it has been proved that multiplication of the given numbers as well here one more symbol is there that is uh, this pi. So, this gives the pi uh, symbol gives the null value and there will be a question mark at the attribute. See the symbol definition has given for a specific meaning of the action. So, in the concept learning we are able to identify whatever the symbol will have a specific definition. Okay. We can see the possibilities of certain conditions like a sky having sunny, cloudy and rainy, temperature of the air having warm or cold, humidity normal or high wind strong or weak, water warm or cool, forecast same or change means whether to continue or to change. Finally, the sports enjoying the sport or, or not enjoying the sport. These are all the possibilities of the given conditions right. So, here in this concept learning we have seen that there is a hypothesis which is general hypothesis and we are moving to the specific hypothesis and in, in a specific concept we have 
certain attributes like this. So, we are able to find the concept. Based on the concepts, the possibilities of the attributes are occurs. Then, in this we have two algorithms. One is find S algorithm and another one is candidate elimination algorithm. So, here finding maximally specific hypothesis. So, what is the hypothesis? Hypothesis gives a specific definition that after number of training instances. So, if we conduct some 10 experiments or 10 iterations, we can conclude that the final definition after making the training of the instances will give you a hypothesis. So, here in this algorithm, we are initializing the uh, hypothesis and uh, uh, we are observing the instances and comparison between the uh, instances and the hypothesis and uh, we are able to get moving from general to more specific hypothesis that is the finding yes, yes means specific hypothesis. So, if you take an example here, the possibilities of uh, given sky attributes, air temperature attributes and humidity, wind, water, forecast and jet as we have seen the uh, last example. So, here there are, so suppose uh, a sunny and a question mark and strong and a question mark and hypothesis to sunny and question marks. Let us see what is happening. Here initially at the step 1, we are going to take all values as the none, all values as the null values, okay, right. So, here in the in this specific example, initially H 0, hypothesis 0, all values are null values. They are mapped to instances. So, A 1, A 2, A 3 and so on. So, first null value A 1 to sunny, A 2 to warm, A 3 to normal, A 4 to strong, A 5 to warm, A 6 to same. So, here we are comparing the instances with the hypothesis. So, see sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. Hence, you just ignore. When it is same, you just ignore. Otherwise, what is happening? See, you see at hypothesis 1 and instances 2, then you can observe with the hypothesis 2. So, here which are the same you can make the same values ignore and wherever there is difference suppose here is the high, here is the normal. See compare this H 1 the given set of values instance x to the given set of values comparing if they are the same you can write the same otherwise you, 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 you can replace by a question mark. Whereas, in the hypothesis we can see it start with a question mark, right. Next come to the iteration 3. Okay. So, in iteration 3 whatever the same you can able to same values and where is the gap or where is the difference you can able to replace by the question mark, right. Here you can see the same <coughs> like that in this example at the hypothesis 4 you can check that whatever the question marks and whatever the same values. Like this, this is uh, based on the uh, certain uh, replacement of the questions 
question marks you are able to get whether the game enjoyed or not so this is finding maximally specific hypothesis next coming to the candidate elimination algorithm you can see whenever more specific values are given they are considered the remaining which are not suitable which are not matched which gives negative you are able to remove the values like as in the previous algorithm you have replaced by the question mark like that here the candidate algorithm candidate elimination algorithm will give you you, you, you are able to eliminate which are not satisfied so for example you can see the first step g maximally general hypothesis so h means specific hypothesis so here if d is a positive example remove g uh, remove from g any hypothesis consistent to d next for each hypothesis yes in s that not consistent with d remove smallest to s here what is it is telling that whenever it is consistent you are able to continue otherwise you can remove so like that this candidate algorithm will give you if you can see this example so s1 uh, you can start from s0 s1 s2 s4 so they are all the specific and general g4 g3 g1 g2 like that so here in the specific you are able to find uh, the after elimination of the unwanted steps after elimination of the comparisons which are gives the negative reports so finally this algorithm in the concept we have learned concept learning we have learned certain attributes for a specific uh, example and uh, in the find s algorithm we can see the hypothesis which is more specifically in the uh, uh, in the candidate elimination algorithm we are able to remove which are not generic so here uh, this help you this help you uh, to a student to identify uh, the boundaries like specific and general next these are the self assessment questions and the terminal questions and these are the friends books and web links thank you